We're here to announce that a Central Hockey League team will be calling the Family Arena home beginning with the 2013-2014 season. Um, I wanted to introduce the panel up here with me as they will all come up individually and speak here shortly. Um, but to start it off, to my left from the Central Hockey League, Mr. Rick Kozabak, Mr. Dwayne Lewis, and from the St. Charles County, Mr. Steve Elman. And to my right, I'll first start over with uh, Mark Reifsteck from the Family Arena here, and then the newest member and the newest uh, uh, addition to the community here in St. Charles County is Nicole Kupox, who is with the St. Charles Chill, and she'll be speaking with you here shortly. But uh, without further ado, let me turn it over to start first, the president of Global Entertainment, which is the parent company of the Central Hockey League, Mr. Rick Kozabak. Thanks, Bob, and thank you all for being here. And uh, we look at this as a very uh, an important milestone for us in, in your community. And on behalf of the CHL Board of Directors, uh, we'd just like to welcome you all here and uh, welcome you to the Central Hockey League and to an exciting brand of family affordable entertainment that we hope to uh, to enthrall you with in the 2013-14 season. Um, we have probably worked with Mark and, and his staff here uh, in the county for, I want to say, well over a year, Mark, to uh, to find the right combination uh, of ownership and uh, an opportunity uh, to be in your market. And, uh, and I think you'll be extremely proud uh, of the of the ownership group that is here, uh, led by uh, a fellow who has been in our uh, in our executive committee, a member of our franchise advisory council, and an owner of uh, of the team in in our league for 11 seasons now. And obviously, when we begin in 13-14, he will be. Uh, Glenn Hart will be in in, uh, in the role of ownership uh, for 12 consecutive seasons in the Central Hockey League, and in, in professional sports and minor professional sports, that's a that's a huge accomplishment. So we look at ownership and the stability of ownership as pretty key in making franchises work. Uh, and I think uh, you'll be very comfortable that the the ownership here is stable, has been in business a long time. Uh, under his tutelage, uh, the, uh, the the team in Laredo, Texas, was franchise of the year in 2002-2003. Uh, they had a run of four consecutive appearances in our Central Hockey League Championship Series, winning uh, championships in 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, uh, and have always been a very competitive on-ice product as well as doing extremely well off the ice. Uh, the ownership uh, was a leadership award winner, I believe, uh, in 2004, 2005 as well. So we have a history of success with this ownership group. Uh, we have a history of, of leadership and the capacity of leadership at the Central Hockey League level. So I know you're going to be extremely proud of, of the group that will be assembled here. And, and over the course of the next 12 months, uh, Nicole and her staff will have a tremendous amount of involvement in the community. Uh, we think that a 12-month preparatory period is almost a, essential in success of a business. Um, so we're happy that we have decided to wait and work towards the 13-14 the season rather than jumping into business uh, prematurely this year. So without further ado, um, I'm going to introduce a gentleman who has been with the Central Hockey League for 15 years as our current commissioner uh, of the Central Hockey League, Mr. Dwayne Lewis, to do a lot of the, uh, the preparatory work to kind of give you a little bit more of the nuts and bolts of the Central Hockey League and more specifics about uh, Nicole and her staff and the, the leadership role that she'll be exhibiting in this community. So thank you for being here. We're honored to be here, proud of of the relationship that has been created over the past year and a half uh, with Mark and his staff in the county and are looking forward to 13-14 uh, in the beginning of, of an exciting run here in St. Charles and St. Charles County. So thank you very much. Dwayne? Thank you, Rick, and thank you to all members of the media and, and everyone for being here at the press conference today. This is a very exciting time for the CHL, also for the CHIL, and everybody in the, in the county and surrounding areas here. Um, this has been, as Rick said, a long time, probably well over a year, dealing with Mark and, and his staff. And to sit here today and say this is a reality is a big, a big accomplishment for a lot of people. And uh, Nicole and, and, and the owner came up with me the last time I was here uh, several, well, I guess several months ago. And, and we walked around and, and just the feeling of the hockey community, the feeling of the communities in and around this area, St. Charles, we spent a lot of time walking in and around that area. And it was such a good family feeling, which fits very well into the CHL. Uh, ideals. Also location wise for the CHL, uh, this is a great fit. Many markets in and around this area and most of our opportunities f going forward it appears appear to be more northern markets, more midwest markets that will fit very well into this footprint as well. So we're very excited not only for this opportunity but other ones that will come in and around here uh, also because of this. 
Uh, we are going into our 21st season in the new CHL, if you will, after we resurrected. You may remember the, the old Saint, there was a team in St. Louis here back in the 60s in the old Central Hockey League. So we do have a history here. The Central Hockey League has a long name. Currently as our operation, 21 seasons in the 12-13 season. Uh, it is family-oriented, uh, family uh, affordable entertainment. Uh, I think a lot like you'll see with the, the Missouri Monsters football team coming into play this in March, that is the same mindset that the team here has. So look forward to a relationship with them as well. This is a great hockey area. We feel that as we go around the towns. Uh, we know that from history. We know that uh, we've been in a lot of markets that we would call non-traditional over the course of years. And it's nice to be in a market like this that has that history and has that hockey knowledge and uh, know that it'll be taken to the game very quickly. Uh, we've had tremendous success down the road in a market in the last three years in Independence, Missouri as well. And, uh, you know, maybe another minor league team or, or league hadn't made it. And we feel this is a good footprint for us to emulate that success they've had down the road. We're also going into Denver, Colorado this year as an expansion team on the outskirts of a major market. And we feel that would be very similar to what we're going to experience here a year down the road. Uh, like Rick mentioned, success comes down to ownership and leadership. And uh, he did mention Glenn Hart and him as a former leadership award winner, which is given to the executive in the league best uh, exemplifies leadership quality. So that's an award that anybody in the league from the executive level could win, and Glenn being a former uh, recipient of that award. Nicole Kupax, the president of GM, who will be coming up here next to speak, has her own tradition in the hockey world. Many teams in our league has been with Laredo for quite some time now in that same role, and also was a Soul of Service, service, award, Soul of service award winner, which is a customer, the best customer service representative, if you will, or best representing customer service and that award can go to anybody from ownership down to coach to players and so forth. So Nicole is a former winner of that award, which again exemplifies the customer service aspect the CHL wants and the chill want in this community. Uh, from the ownership perspective, Glenn Hart, Gustavo Hernandez, and Alf Alfonso are getting to um, They're bringing the chill to this area. Uh, is it pretty exciting? And we want to thank them for their efforts and their commitment to bring hockey here because it is quite a commitment to bring something of this magnitude uh, to a market. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Mark Reifstek particularly. Um, all the work that he's put in, the relationship he's built with us, with the chill, the ownership, and the due diligence he put in to get this to come to reality, as well as all of his staff has been second to none. Uh, we couldn't do it without you guys and appreciate what we'll call a partnership rather than a relationship. Also, the county, uh, county exec Steve Ellman, and all the county executives and administration uh, the support and work to make today a reality is, is, is phenomenal. So for all of the efforts you guys have put in uh, on behalf of the CHL and the CHIL, thank you very, very much. And as Rick mentioned, we are, are well ahead of our normal path, if you will, in, put, in launching a team, and we think that's the, that's the recipe for success. We've done this in other markets about this far out. We've had other ones start a lot closer to the season, and we feel being well over a year in advance will allow us to, to, to get to know everybody in the market, uh, start that relationship off right, um, work with the youth in the community and, and build the brand, if you will, in preparation for a solid start in 2013. So we are very excited from the CHL side to be part of the St. Charles community, uh, a family, and ironically we started off in the family arena. So appreciate it. Um, my next job is to introduce Nicole, the president and GM, Nicole Kupax. As I mentioned before, has a long history in the CHL, and uh, you're in good hands with Nicole. So I'll turn it over to her, and, and uh, thank you very much again for being here. A little shorter than Dwayne. Um, thank you, Dwayne and Rick, for your kind words. Very excited to be here. Um, it seems like it's been a long process, but in actuality, it's been about eight weeks. So um, excited to come to St. Charles from Laredo, Texas. Sorry if I brought the heat with me. I didn't mean to. Um, before I get started, Glenn Hart, uh, part of our ownership group, was supposed to be here. Unfortunately, his main business, Laredo Energy, he's CEO, he got called away on an important meeting in Boston today, and I have to let him do that because that's how he affords to have hockey teams. So he did film a video segment for us, so if you can please put your attention to the TV screen just for a few minutes. Good morning, St. Charles. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be involved in returning CHL hockey after many years uh, to the St. Louis area, St. Charles in particular. Uh, I've been blessed to be involved in several different ownership groups of uh, professional hockey teams over the years, and although I won't be the majority investor, I'm happy to be part of the group that's uh, bringing uh, uh, CHL hockey to St. Louis, affordable, fun, family entertainment, 
And one of the ironies of the situation is I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas, and that's actually where I started playing hockey. And believe it or not, uh, St. Louis had a significant impact on my early interest in hockey. Uh, this, uh, the year that the Blues were created in 67, 68 uh, in the NHL, they displaced a team from the Central Hockey League called the St. Louis Braves to Dallas, Texas, which was the first time I ever laid eyes uh, on hockey. And, and uh, so I uh, became a Dallas Blackhawks fan thanks to the St. Louis Blues. And then the other interesting thing is that uh, if I got my uh, radio turned just right, I could actually pick up KMOX in St. Louis and listen to uh, Blues games on the radio. So some of my first recollections of hockey are listening to uh, Dan Kelly and Gus Kyle on the radio. And uh, some of my boyhood heroes were Glenn Hall, Jacques Plante, uh, Red Berenson, and the Plager Brothers. So uh, it's with great pleasure that I almost return to my hockey roots. Thank you very much, and we look forward to a successful uh, season in St. Charles in uh, 2013. Uh, Glenn is very remiss he couldn't be here. Um, they will be present in our upcoming press conferences. We plan on announcing many more things throughout the summer and fall. The next thing we will unveil is our official logo, and we are going to be announcing a Pick a Mascot contest. So we want to become a fabric of this community. It's very important for us to be involved in every aspect, in the schools, rotaries, Kiwanis, everything. And that's why we came here in advance, to really get involved, to get out there. We don't want to just come and say, come buy tickets. You know, we want to be a part of this community. We're also searching for our next head coach, and it's very important to our organization have someone with blues roots or ties to the community. So hopefully the coach we bring in will be a name you recognize and that'll be really important. But I digress, back to the name, the mascot contest. We will be announcing that in the next several weeks. We want to get the community involved. Yes, our name is the St. Charles Chill, but we want the kids, the families to get involved and to help pick the mascot because this is a symbol of you. This is your team and you are gonna be involved in the process. So we come from Laredo, Texas and we had a long, what is it, acclaimed history there. We were very blessed. We went to five finals, by the way, Rick, sorry. And two championships, eight playoff appearances. We were known for our abilities on the ice, but I was more proud of what we did off the ice. So we plan on being champions in St. Charles on and off the ice. We'll bring you President's Cup trophies here, but we'll bring you some Franchise of the Year awards too for what we do in the community. So please, thank you for your time today. But before I give the microphone back to Bob, I would really like to thank Mark Reifstek and the Family Arena and his fabulous staff for putting up with me and my five-year-old son that's been running crazy in the building and for all the hard work. I look forward to working with Mark. It's very different coming from a building uh, that I came from into one that's embraced us with such open arms and willing to work with us every step of the way. Uh, Steve Elman and Chuck Gross with the, with the county, St. Charles County, thank you so much. We look forward to actually sitting down in your office and working hand in hand with you. And the league, Rick Kozabak, Dwayne Lewis, Bob Hoffman, thank you so much for your help. Um, and we're really excited to be here. Thank you so much, you guys. And we'll ready to drop the puck in 13-14. Bob, back to you. Thanks, Nicole. The months uh, leading up to October of 2013 will, will fly by, as uh, it seems like it's a long time away, but there'll be plenty of announcements, as Nicole mentioned, uh, unveiling the team colors and the logo, as well as she mentioned the head coach and the partnerships that she'll create here in the community. So watch for those announcements as the team's website is up and running with a launch page today at www.stcharleschill.com, and there's links on that webpage to the team's Facebook and Twitter accounts, so you can follow all the actions of the teams uh, through their social media outlets. But uh, Dwayne and Rick both mentioned about the uh, long haul that we've had uh, with Mark and with the building, and with that I'd like to turn it over uh, to the general manager of the family arena, Mr. Mark Reistek. Well, first I'd like to thank everybody for showing up for the, the meeting. A lot of our sponsors are here, a lot of our vendors, people we work with on a daily basis. <clears throat> I'd like to thank my staff. They've actually they're the ones that do everything. I'm just... I have an office down there. They're, they they help me on a daily basis, make things happen. Uh, we're happy to have hockey back. More than anything, we're happy about being able to have ice. 
Uh, we're going to open up, we're going to have hockey, but we're also going to open it up the ice to public skate, men's leagues, special events. Uh, we're looking to do work with the Sports Commission on some of the uh, Stars on Ice programs, just more dates for the facility itself. Um, the other thing I'm looking forward to is really kicking Quad City's butt and Independence's butt in hockey. We're going to teach them what it's like. Um, and I'm real happy about working with the CHL. Dwayne's just been fantastic. Nicole's been great. Rick's been great. We've got a good partnership. And the county's excited about uh, a team coming back, and there's going to be a lot of good support. We just want to get the community involved, like they all said, where uh, people take ownership in this team. Uh, the facility, we've been working on improving a lot of aspects to it for all the teams, with the football team coming also. I don't know if you took a peek out there. We got new turf in. So uh, it's an exciting time for the family arena, and I'm just looking forward to it. And that, I'm going to turn it over to Steve. Steve Bellman, County Executive of St. Charles County. Thank you, Mark. Welcome. It's great to have you. I know that uh, your organization is going to have a chilling effect on St. Charles. And that's meant in a very positive way. Uh, we're going to work hard to be ready for you. I apologize for being the last uh, to, to get here today. The reason I was is because they had a traffic stop down here at the intersection to put a front loader on the back of a truck and the county is spending a great deal of money improving that, uh, that intersection down here because we're expecting some very big crowds to be uh, coming through there. We want to get them here as quickly as we can to see what we think is going to be a very exciting product. Um, probably one of the most important things uh, for me is uh, Mark has assured me that, uh, that we're dealing with first-class organization and first-class people. And uh, that's not always true in our business, is it, Mark? Um, and uh, we're just uh, we're just really looking uh, looking forward. Uh, uh, Dwayne, I just met uh, as I was coming in, but uh, when he was up here, he confirmed his hockey pedigree when he talked about far out. <laughs> and you talked about teams on the outskirts of Denver, and I know Independence is is. Uh, certainly not in the heart of the Kansas City area anymore, but where we are right now is probably within a few miles of the demographic center of the St. Louis, Missouri metropolitan area. And I can assure you that that point is moving west. So this is not only going to be a great uh, asset for St. Charles County, but this is going to be a, a big draw for the entire region. And, uh, and I know it's a it's a lot easier actually to get here from West County now that 141 Expressway has opened up. So it's going to be probably easier for people in West County to get here than it will be for some of the people in the uh, western part of St. Charles County. So we see this as a, a great day not only for the county um, but also for the region. And uh, again, let me just say welcome. Mm -hmm.